China to test 11 million people for coronavirus in 10 days. A new surge of coronavirus cases in Wuhan has prompted Chinese authorities to commit to conducting mass tests of its 11 million residents over the next 10 days in an effort to prevent a second wave of the coronavirus. This comes after six new coronavirus cases in the city where the pandemic originated. World Bank announces $1 billion in aid for India. The World Bank's Board of Executive Directors has approved a $1 billion social protection response program to assist India with supporting vulnerable households severely impacted during the coronavirus pandemic. The social assistance will increase food and cash benefits and will ensure a safety net for the poor during the crisis. This comes after the World Bank's previous $1 billion commitment to supporting India's health sector. Burundi expels top World Health Organization official ahead of election. A World Health Organization representative to Burundi has been expelled from the country a few days just before the presidential election. This comes after the World Health Organization voiced some health concerns about crowded political rallies in the country. The official has been declared persona non grata and has been issued a letter from the foreign ministry asking him to leave the country by Friday, with no explanation. Typhoon hits the Philippines amid pandemic. As the Philippines battles with the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, a typhoon has hit the country's eastern Samar province, causing a power outage and threatening food crops. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated to safety. Amazon deforestation accelerates amid coronavirus pandemic. Brazil's National Institute for Space Research has released data showing that deforestation of the Amazon rainforest has increased by 63% this year. This illegal activity has gone unregulated in the forest while the rest of the world battles with the pandemic. Slovenia declares end of coronavirus epidemic. Slovenia has become the first European country to officially declare the end of the coronavirus epidemic. This comes after less than seven new confirmed cases were recorded daily for the past two weeks. New infections are still being recorded to date.